diecast community welcome to another video guys today we are going to be purging some pieces out of my collection and you're wondering what my dude you still have a ton of wall space what are you doing well you could blame mr lamley he's the man that inspired this video here's the catch though i will not be touching none of my JDM pieces or USDM cards. No, no, that's a big no, no. Check this out, man. This is a perfect example of what I'm planning to do in the upcoming days. Now, these two castings, let alone the Chevy Impala, is heavily desired. But here's the thing, guys. Do I mind getting rid of these two pieces? Not at all. In exchange for something like this or a bit something like this. Or a bit something like that. I don't know, you know? The moral of the story, guys, is these two pieces are great, man. And honestly, when it comes down to the die cast world, it's endless, guys. So if you're not careful, man, it's endless. Trust me. Honestly, guys, I love everything I collect. But if I'm honest with myself, guys, I have few pieces that I heavily love. But I personally wouldn't mind getting rid of in exchange to get a piece that I've been after for some time already. Or in some cases, you could put little to no money out of your pocket by selling some pieces and you finally got that one desirable piece in your collection. For me, it's JDM pieces. All right, guys. So walking away from these gorgeous RLC pieces, check this out, guys. These are the last four green lights in my collection after this point and on i will no longer collect green lights i'm done regarding their details they are amazing they do pay attention to their details but when it comes down to their quality control forget it they suck ass and honestly guys m2 machines their quality control it sucks ass too man but other than that guys, I think their castings are amazing. Will I ever reconsider collecting either M2s or green lights? If they fix their quality control, absolutely yes. Holy shenanigans guys, I got the first symptoms of a hoarder. I was kind of hoping these two pieces, I'm like, eh, I'm kind of hoping that'll sell. But nah, they gotta go man, they got to go. Anyways guys, right above those green lights man, we have the Team Transport. Check this out guys, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL and this beautiful AMG GT3. When I like a casting that is not a Japanese car at least, I need to keep a variation that I like a lot. For example, this Jay Leno Garage, he owns this car in real life man. I don't know why there's just something about this Mercedes 300 SL and I am a huge fan of Jay Leno man. So finally I could let go of this piece and you know what might as well take advantage put these together put them in a lot and hopefully they go. Alright guys the next piece leaving my collection is this beautiful 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra Type R. Now this is the club exclusive car for 2023. Now this piece is extremely gorgeous. Now you're wondering why are you planning to get rid of that, man? It's badass, and it is. But I have another variation that I like so much more and simply because of the wheels of choice. I don't know, man, this one looks so much better. And why is it that I hate these wheels? I don't know why guys, I see these wheels more on a Japanese car than a 5.0. So for that reason, I'm keeping this red variation. I love the wheels of choice and this one is leaving. And I hate chrome wheels, I really do guys. I think, I'm sorry man, it's just not for me. They should have blacked these wheels out, man. All right guys, so moving a bit away from my drift wall section, my rally race car section, here is my mid-engine car section, and I do have a lot of Porsches here. And regarding Porsche, that's the one casting that is not a Japanese car, and I heavily collect, guys. But I will be getting rid of this Kona sec, not the Boulevard one. I will be getting rid of this one with the 37 number on the side door. And this McLaren, it's leaving. A lot of these pieces are leaving. 
the Bugatti, I have to think about it, guys. I'm not a huge fan of Bugattis, but I did pick up these castings in my early stages of collecting. I easily see myself getting rid of this two-pack by Car Culture, the Lamborghini one, man. This one's beautiful, but I could easily see myself replacing this for a Japanese piece. And yeah, guys. And there's more pieces leaving from this section, but let's go ahead and move on, guys. Over here, I have all my movie cars. Now, regarding this section, I won't be touching anything, man. I do love my movie cars. I heavily collect this. So, yes, regarding my movie cars, nothing will be touched. This will stay the way it is. Absolutely, yes. All right, guys. So, moving from my movie car section, right over here, I have all my pickup trucks. A mixture of Japanese trucks with American trucks and whatnot. And right over here, guys, I have all my stock classic looking cars for the most part. Once again, with a mixture of Japanese cars. But unfortunately, guys, I've been catching myself that I have a lot of castings that are non-JDM here, guys. And honestly, I could use this space a bit more wisely. But I will say one thing guys, some of these pieces are so unique. For example, look at this Cadillac Hearst. I don't ever see myself ever getting rid of those pieces, but I'll tell you this much, man. If that's the case, I will remove them from here and I will just simply store them away. And that should take care of my issue, man. My goal is for my room to look super JDM friendly or USDM friendly, man. Now regarding my Hot Wheels IDs, I do have every single JDM release guys and I do have a lot of releases that are non-JDM. That's the one line I won't touch. My, my Hot Wheels ID will stay the way they are. And let's see, sorry for the glare guys, but these are all my diorama sets. Most of them are definitely JDM friendly guys. Ex Look, that's the Nissan Skyline diorama set. Except for this rally race car one, and this is the Fast and the Furious one. But look, we do have the Toyota Supra there. And regarding Fast and the Furious, we do have a huge exception regarding that. And maybe this is the one piece I don't like that much. Let's see, let's take it out, guys. If there's a diorama set that I'm not that interested in my collection, maybe this one, guys. But even then, I have to say that Chevy pickup truck is a must, and that Dodge Power Wagon. The fact that it has two dirt bikes in the back, and that is badass. And then the Moon Eyes Holler, mm, unique piece. And right over here, I have all my motorcycles. This is a new section I'm starting to build right where my helmets are. This is going to be my motorcycle section, and check this out, guys. The Honda Monkey Z50, that is such a very unique piece. That's a treasure hunt. I got a few treasure hunts. That's a treasure hunt right there. And this one, this BMW, that's a treasure hunt too. So yeah, guys, this is my motorcycle section. And this is what I like to call all my retired castings will be placed here. And I do have some Japanese cars here. By the way, that's a wheel air, that MR2. But I really don't want to touch the section too much because honestly, guys, anything that is retired, you know how that goes for us collectors. But right over here, guys, I have a lot of American muscle cars that I personally wouldn't mind getting rid of. And there's definitely a lot of pieces that will definitely be staying in the collection. For example, this custom Corvette uh, Stingray Coupe. That's a beautiful piece, guys, but I have another variation that I'd rather keep. For example, this red variation. I think this release looks so much better and I believe this release is from the Fast and the Furious. This 68 Dodge Dart, I have no idea why I picked it up but there it is. That's leaving. This one, I don't know man, I really have to think about it man. Such a very unique piece. And let's see these funny cars, I have to think about it. If it's going to help me get a very unique JDM piece, then yes, but I have to really think about it. And the Superbird and the Roadrunner, I think I'm definitely getting rid of those pieces, man. Honestly. Alright guys, so here originally I was planning to build what's known as my NASCAR section and my dragsters. But honestly guys, I don't know man, I could use this wall space a bit more wisely. So I noticed I have a lot of castings that I personally wouldn't mind getting rid of. And like I said earlier, I could use this space a bit more wisely. 
So there you guys have it, man. There's definitely more pieces leaving the collection, guys. But for the sake of this video, so we won't make it too long, we'll stop here. All right, guys. So this is everything I have decided I'm planning to get rid of. So regarding these funny cars, yep, they're leaving. Regarding these NASCARs, yep, they're leaving. The Lamborghini, we already mentioned that one's definitely leaving. So let me show you guys everything real quick. Oh yeah, and by the way, these rally cars are definitely leaving the Audi. And then once again, the green lights. Oh, and let's not forget these beautiful RLC pieces, the Chevy Impala and the VW, the Kawa Bug. If I'm going to have any type of regret, it's definitely these pieces, man. But in exchange for JDM pieces, let's do it. Now, am I planning to purge more pieces? I believe so, guys. Honestly, there's a lot of JDM pieces I want to catch up to. So, mm -hmm. I have a lot of pieces I could definitely get rid of. Once again, I am not touching my Japanese cars. That's the main idea behind my channel, Japanese. I am the JDM dude. So anything USDM or JDM, man, that's the way for me, man. But anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Peace.